Well, Minnesota's top Republicans kicked the campaign season off in Bemidji tonight. Our Josh Peterson shows us why the candidates feel confident and hope the success of the 2016 election continues into 2018. It's only been 24 hours since the 2018 campaign tickets have been finalized and has the GOP rallying in Bemidji for a fundraiser. Already top Republicans are out in force doing what they can to continue the success they experienced in 2016. The momentum for our president continues to remain really, really high. And that trickles down to all of our candidates as they're going out and campaigning for their respective races. Coming off a strong primary win, gubernatorial candidate Jeff Johnson's running mate Donna Bergstrom says their ticket is ready to take on the Walls Flanagan campaign and stay on message. We've got too much government in our lives and I think we can uh, make the case that uh, Congressman Waltz and Representative Flanagan represent that. Republicans feel they have the momentum and are looking to unseat long-term U.S. Senator Amy Klobuchar. She's against our President Trump and uh, she wants to be in office for 18 years. Uh, those two things right there really sum it up. A race that has received national attention is the contest for the 8th Congressional District, where Pete Stauber has received ongoing support from both President Trump and Vice President Mike Pence. The support for our president is as strong, if not stronger, than an election day in Minnesota 8. And so we're feeling uh, very good. We're very happy that the president and the vice president has supported our campaign. Republicans are still reeling from the Trump train in 2016 and hope that the red wave can continue to carry them to victory come November. They're all confident in President Trump and his uh, tariff situation. Namely, they understand that that's a leverage for long-term gain, and so I, I think they're ready to make a switch. In the race for Minnesota Attorney General, Republicans feel optimistic as they take on Congressman Keith Ellison. We need an Attorney General to stand up for the rule of law, enforce all of the laws, keep our community safe, and take the politics out of the Attorney General's office. With 83 days remaining until Election Day, candidates from both parties will be out in force, vying for your vote. In Bemidji, Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. Over 250 people attended that event tonight. Republican candidate for Secretary of State John Howe and State Auditor candidate Pam Myra were also in attendance. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.